and all, welcome back to more Let's Play episode of QA on the Mexican View Trades. In the last part, we finished up the Evil Spirits Club labyrinth thing. Had some trouble with the boss down there, but I ultimately prevailed. And now we're inside of a festival, inside of a festival. It's it's forever laird, you see. So now I don't know what exactly is going to go on in this place, this new land that we found. It's probably not going to be too good, seeing as how it's potentially the final labyrinth we have to go through. We'll find out in due time. But uh, so far, just through what I've done... On the first floor as is with 20% of the map. It hasn't been so bad, but that's not even like 20% of the entirety of the labyrinth. So I'm sure there's going to be some horrifying puzzles or shenanigans I'm going to have to deal with. That being said, we have gotten ever so slightly stronger. We're now at the level 55 mark, which is pretty good. A couple characters managed to get themselves a new persona. I actually got uh, Kai here, Jin, so he could absorb wind. So his main weakness is now completely invalidated. Along with Igus, who can now absorb electricity. So that's pretty dandy. And uh, he, Kanji, it's funny, Kanji and Igus swapped their personas again. And then I replaced the one that Igus was given in exchange with this one. So there you go. Unfortunately, Naoto and Yukari are still going with the ones they had. They're, nothing better ever seems to pop up. It's rather frustrating, if I'm being honest with you. Pretty certain that there's no new equipment here. So that pretty much catches you guys all up. Not a whole lot changed. Not a whole lot happened. But we do got some strolls. Apparently, we're going to ask the question, why a festival? Why the car? Why the carnival, eh? At the deli. First, a haunted house. Now an outdoor festival. This is the craziest culture festival I've ever heard of. Well, it's almost like it's not a real one or something. I guess anything goes now. Why a festival, though? I'm not saying I don't like festivals, but... First was Alice in Wonderland, then a group date cafe, a haunted house, and now a festival. There doesn't seem to be any pattern to the theming. Then what the hell's it all mean? I believe it's a bit premature to judge. I've got my theories. We don't really know what this place is to begin with. I thought it was like Tartarus, what with the shadows around. But it's not the dark hour. Yeah, I kinda could tell. And it ain't like the world inside the TV like you guys were talking about, right? Yeah, no, not even close. None of us got here by coming into a TV. Oh, well, this place does share some similarities with the TV world. Well, with it all being, you know, probably the perception or, you know, internal thoughts of, of, of someone in particular. Like the lobby, we enter through the June STV. The Ordinary Culture Festival serves as a central hub display that have become labyrinths or like the victim locations that stem off from it. Huh. So those displays are like Princess Yukiko's castle in Kanji Sana. Mm -hmm. uh, Sana? We don't need to get into that, okay? What's hey, I don't need to know about that stuff. The sharpest difference from the TV world, though, is that there are no victims here. Or fog. In the TV world, each location is formed from the emotions of the one dropped inside. At the center of those locations, we always find the victim along with their shadow. And this place was the same. We should have found people like that. Are you so sure we haven't? Precisely. But what we found thus far aren't people, but objects. The rabbit doll, the toy ring, and the lock of hair. That sounds stuff like, like stuff a grade school kid would have. But the kid in question is nowhere to be seen. Mmm. -mm. We're not re ready to figure this out, I think. Well, that's what we're investigating for, right? We'll get it eventually. Yeah, that makes it easier. I would ask that you use your head a little more, though. Uh, right. <laughs> oof. Big Oofenheimer. That is unfortunate. Alrighty, alrighty. Next up, next up. Let's hang out together. What are we hanging out about? What's that all about? We're in the sweets hall. Your companions are talking about stuff while eating sweets. Mm. Festival, huh? Might be fun if we weren't in this situation. <laughs> Festivals are great. There was a summer festival a little while back. I went with Yuka Chan, Chisi Chan, Cheesy Chan, Chi A Chan, and Rise Chan. Oh, uh, yeah. I learned from that experience to never go with you again. Teddy would eat all the food with the booths without paying. Jeez. Who died and made him king of the world? Oh, come on, Chi A Chan. I'm your one and only prince. No, that would be Yosuke. What kind of prince has to letch off Yosuke's part time salary? Mm. Yosuke is so. Yosuke. <laughs> that insult just rolled off the tongue. Very rude. What did you eat at the festival, chi Eh, it wasn't a big festival, so it was the same old stuff. You know, uh, Okanomiyaki, you know, that thing everybody knows. Cotton candy and so on. Oh, wow. I'm so jealous. I want to eat them too someday. What? You were just eating both of those things. All right. Go you. Why don't we go to a festival together once we get out of here? Okay. <laughs> interesting, interesting. You guys from Yasagami High are close, huh? 
You go to summer festivals and stuff together? That's right. Let's enjoy the spring of our youth. I'm not sure what that means, but springtime, huh? Sounds a bit too unrealistic for me. I mean, friends, having them, hmm, where's the catch? We're pretty close too, though, aren't we? Eh, some of you with some of the others, but not as a general unit, no. Yeah, I guess we are. Ah, I just had a great idea. We should go together with everyone from Team Gecko too. It'll be even better than last time. Oh, well, that does sound fun, but you'll be there, won't you, Teddy? Ooh, another good zinger. Well, first we have to do something about the festival here, and then we all have to return back to our home places, and then we need to realize that you're two years in the past from the P forecast. Why has that not come up yet? I guess the difference between 2009 and 2011 isn't that big of a difference, but still, we can save the fun for later. <laughs> guess the plan is to go to that festival later. It's gonna be so much fun, Yuka-chan. Hmm. Yeah, probably, but I never said I'd go. They just keep coming, and they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming. You enjoyed some time with your companions. It was delightful. All right. So first things first, in the nurse's office, I noticed that there's a time-sensitive quest about getting something that Zen wants. I have absolutely no idea where this is going to take us, but we're going to do it now because, you know. Wow, strength magic reverse. I am admittedly curious about that one. It's from Ray. However, there appears to be special circumstances around it, so I will be reading this note from her in her stead. She produces a piece of noted paper! Hi, it's Ray. Thanks for accepting my request. Where's the food? In order to express my gratitude to Zen, I've been planning on giving him a present, but I have no idea what would make Zen happy. Could you help me find out what he might want? I want to give it to him soon, so I'm putting a time limit on this request. Uh, I'm assuming that means thank you so much. And that's all it says. Elizabeth put down the note. I believe that acronym at the end stands for uh, thank you so much. She has an avant-garde sense of language, no? Sure. Back on topic, don't you think this is a touching request? Oh, I wish Theo would learn a thing or two from her. Theo goes out of his way to try to appease you, and you just constantly make fun of and make him do stuff for you. No. Now then, I will teach you the art of the surprise so that you have a better chance of success in your endeavor. When you start a conversation, try to use indirect questions. Remember, slow and steady wins the race. Make sure to not ask the same question too many times or your goal will become too obvious. And lastly, if they are about to catch on, keeping your silence is effective, though it should be a last resort. That is all I can teach you. I hope this knowledge will come in handy. May luck be with you. Whoo boy, I don't know. I don't really fancy my chances here. Ray is waiting for you somewhere in the school. I wish you the best of luck. I guess I gotta go talk to Ray. Well, off we go. I don't really have any major complaints doing that. She's a delightful enough gal. All right, let's a let's a let's go. Operation Presente. And then the game crashed and I had to reset. Concession Alley on the third floor in front of the deli. You see Zen and Ray sitting in some nearby chairs. You got. Before you talk to them, you remember what Elizabeth said to you about surprises. Ask indirect questions. Don't ask them repeatedly. And stay silent if things are looking nasty. All right. Do you wish to begin? Mm, no, but we're going to do it. Here I go. You approach Ray and Zen. Uh, hey, hey Kaikun. W what a coincidence. I did not expect to see you. Here, I have something to eat. Ray is acting very suspiciously. You suspect that she is bad at not being suspicious. Ray, calm down. You're going to choke on your food. Yeah! I have to calm down. I have to chew, swallow, sleep, grow, brush my teeth, get you a pre- ah! You should try to ask Zen what he wants before he gets too suspicious. <laughs> Yo, is there anything you want? Hands up. Who wants a present? What do you think about fall? I think about all the good food that's in season. And that's as indirect as it gets. And then I think about how hungry I get. Is that true? Doesn't that mean you're just thinking about food? Uh, your turn now, Zen. What do you think of fall? Well, let me see. Fall is the harvest season. It is a time in which organisms grow, grow thins. And they are reborn into something new. What? That was long. I don't know if reincarnation exists. But the cycle of death and birth is a crucial part of the world. But fall is all about sweet potatoes and chestnuts and pumpkins. I see. I do not desire food as much as you do, Ray. So what do you want, then? I suppose I desire to be better equipped for going into the labyrinth. Oh, is that it? Really now? You have the information you wanted. This might be your opportunity. Try asking Zen for what he wants without making him suspicious. All right. So you want equipment. So you... Okay, you know what? Yeah, that's not actually talking about whether or not he, what he wants. It's just what does he personally feel is more important in combat? Yeah. Defense. 
Fighting isn't important to me. All I want is to grant Ray's wish to leave this place. Zen. And armor isn't as important to me as the things you call accessories. They have special functions that do more than just reduce the amount of damage you take. Picking the right equipment is all part of the strategy, which is why I leave it to you, leader. If there is any equipment that strengthens me in any way, I would like you to let me use it. Accessories, huh? How about a collar, just as a random example? A collar? I suppose it would be good to have equipment that I am already used to wearing. You learned that Zen wants a collar accessory! <sighs> Whew. Now we got that out of the way! What? Got what out of the way? Your face! Ah, uh, this is... this is nothing. It's just... um, um. You've been acting strangely for a while now. What exactly is going on here? Uh-oh! It looks like you're in a bit of a pinch! What do you do? I guess I could go entirely... I guess I could just be quiet. But that's supposed to be a last resort, is it not? But then again, hmm. Should I be distracting? Or should I be keeping the silence? The game said to keep the silence if things look bad. That doesn't make sense. But I mean, I feel like the silence might more so apply to Ray than I. The game literally said to do this, so... I see. It's Theodore, isn't it? There we go! All right, that... I, I, I thought the game might have been trying to play a mind game on me. They were not. I just had to listen to its advice. Huh? I would assume you accepted a request from Theodore to ask everyone what kind of new equipment they would like. Yeah, that's right. Let's go with that, because that's what it is. We just wanted to have a conversation instead of taking a survey. So. I see. I apologize for inquiring. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> you did tell us what you want, so it's A-OK. -okay. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. I am bad at this. It would seem that Zen has misread the situation. In any case, it looks like you've completed the request, and that you may now do the dance of joy. You should report this noise. And so the noise shall be reported. Let's do this thing! Can't be stopped, won't be stopped. Well. I'm a request completing machine, is what I am. Give me that experience too, yo. What you got, what you got? I've been waiting for you. Ray has given me another message to read to you. Ahem. She has picked up the nut. Thanks for helping me with this request. You were amazing. Zen had no idea what we were trying to do. You were so smooth that I put a little extra something in with the reward. I'll give it to Elizabeth. I'll try to make the collar by myself. Thank you so much. And that, is all. that is adorable. She is adorable. Elizabeth, took down the note. All right, I do like rewards. A Stama Reverse and a Sama Jelly. Makes sense that she'd be having some jelly. I believe it's your duty as leader to watch over that awkward couple. Have I not been doing that? Seriously, I've been watching over awkward couples since day one What with Yosuke and Chie. I myself would like to keep an eye on them, if you could. Yeah, no problem, no problem. I can lose it. It's not a deal breaker. I can hang that work. And you're going a little bit of EXP for everybody. Ain't that just delightful? Alright, as for quests that are left, I did a couple of the really, really tippy top ones. But man, there's still so much more that does. My goodness. Beat the shadow in the big day. Obtain an evil eye. Test your, sk uh, test your skills again! Oh no! Well, that doesn't sound like a good time for anybody. Alright, well. We'll deal with that later, when I'm definitely more than strong enough to take care of all the, the business. Alright, ordinarily I wouldn't be, re you know, saving so readily like this, but in the off chance that everything kind of crashes again, it did that once. What do you mean I don't have any go-homes? Well, that will simply not do. Can't have any of that in our day-to-day, -day, I don't say. Alright, then hang on a second. Sort them items, and we will store away the stop my reverse. I mean, if I wanted to make one of my strength-based characters a magic-based character, that is that is pretty good. Like, if I wanted to turn Kanji into a caster for whatever reason, I, I guess that's a, a possibility. It's an option. Not one that I'm too terribly super jazzed about, but one that is definitely there. I mean, experimentation and just, you know, some silly shenanigans. Can't say I have anything against that possibility. Alright, let's head back into the Inaba exhibit! Let's go! Alright, now to make my way back to where we were. Alright, let's see. Ah, oh, I just gotta go like so. A little bit of like that. I'm going on ahead. Yeah, you are. Don't you even flip your dip about it, girl. Alright, here's hoping I can maybe get myself a... A check, uh, not a checkpoint, but a, a a shortcut or something in the near future. Because man, training in this place was a bit of a thing, let me tell you. And we go again! Alright, then we were assaulted by demons! Called that one real easily. Oh, great god, googly moogly, it's a dang old Hulk Hogan. Alright, so it's all about that wind style, huh? 
Don't you worry about none of that. All right, so he's got the Repu Shrike again. Gonna be a little bit for where I remember that that's a thing. We might instant kill it out the get-go, which would be nice. Do we have anything wind-based here? I mean, we've got ice, we've got electricity, and that's pretty much all we got. We also have healing as a panic burst option if need be. So that's pretty neat. All right, then. We'll use our light magic, and if that doesn't work outright, we'll just hit him with a bunch of wind. And the light worked. You'd be surprised how long it took me to actually figure out what that thing's weakness ultimately ended up being. It just kept dying to those moves over and over again. It was, it was pretty silly. Anyway, forgot some lines there. There we go. All taken care of. And the million dollar problem is all of these things are not lit on fire, which is a problem. We have to figure out how to get some more fire all over the dang place. Maybe I can carry the torch from one bonfire to another. That seems like something that might be possible. Kinda. I mean, that's about as close as of, an as uh, uh, of, a, of an assumption as I think you could possibly make, given the circumstances. Otherwise, it's known. I mean, it's like genes and stuff. It's DNA. I get that, but still. Anyway, get hit with the Mamudon. We ain't got no time for DNA, man. Dana man. All right. Well, there we go. I was expecting to maybe take out the tree, but not the guy on the bridge. All right. Nice, nice, nice. And we got a very large supply of stuff. Also, I will gladly take any of this agar wood. It is valuable. All right, in we go. Time for new horizons. This entire time, could I have gone this way? And just, okay, no. All right, I would have been rather cross if that were the case. It's like, man, was a, was a shortcut there the entire ding-dang time? That would have been a bummer. All right, well, the good news is no. Although, it's not exactly good news, but still. All right, draw in all the lines. Draw in all the lines and seeing more shortcuts in the distance. I'm seeing a lot of entrances, but not a whole lot of ways out. Let me tell you, finding that to be a bit of an issue. All right, no big deal. I have no idea. Last I checked, none of the shadows actually make any like legitimate sense biologically. And trying to, you know, apply real-world logic and and biology to said creatures is it's just not gonna work out for you. So you best just not bother. That quickly. Indeed. If only all could be ended so quickly. That said, a door. There we go. Give me the shortcuts, dang it. Also, hi, treasure chest. Yeah, we do, but we cannot get it, and we probably won't be able to get it for a while. As that is how this game do. It's an enemy FOE. Stay on your guard. I'll do what I want. You don't gotta concern yourself none. Me yeah, sometimes it'd be like that. Anyway, it's the pinwheels that are the way around. Very interesting, very interesting. All right, well, then we'll just ignore the FOE, as is tradition. That is the door. I don't want a door. I want an exclamation point to tell me where a bonfire is. It's not that hard. I don't even think it's actually a bonfire specifically. I'm not 100% sure what you'd call it. But uh, whatever it is, it's not a bonfire. So, so there you go. So I'm pretty sure that has to be like on the ground. All right, and all that is good. Yes, yes, very, very high quality. Is that another shortcut? Why are there so many of these things in this place? I've only been able to activate a single one of the dang things. It's a bit of an issue. And right, who dares? It's a bunch of these nerds again. All right. The strategy for them is to have everybody do physical attacks, except for Naoto, who will use the Mamudone. Everybody else will just use their normal attacks to wail on the old man on the bridge back there. Assuming it doesn't get outright taken out by the Mamudon, sometimes it does. And then this is one of those instances. Very well, game. Very well. If that's the way it's gotta be. Okay, also, I saw the treasure over yonder. So, just going to do a little bit of this. Yes, the FOE is not exactly hard to spot. They're kind of all over the dang place, if I'm being honest. And it appears they are blocking the only way to the treasure. That's a bummer. Yeah, we should open it, but I'd have to be able to defeat the the, the ne'er-do-well, as it were. And as is, I cannot do that. All right, so here's a bit of a conundrum. Hmm. I... Did I miss something here? I don't think that I did. Oh, no. I'd much rather not. Okay, well, we're going to try anyway. All right, so here's the dealie with these guys. They're not as terrible. Also, I need to switch over to Kanji because he has this now. There we go. Lower the hit and evasion rate. It might make a bit of a difference. Okay. So these particular golden hands, the opulent hands, 
as far as I'm aware, don't have Hama and Mudo. They don't have instant kill. They just mostly rely on using a bunch of stuff like this. So, not that big of a deal. That's a bit more of an issue, especially when they make three of my characters fall asleep. Okay, that seems massively overkill in just about every conceivable way. All right. I'm going to say our odds of actually being able to beat any of them are really honking low. But considering that it's been lowered, I've uh, done just about everything that I can. And now they're transforming into dice. Of course they are. Delightful. That is... All kinds of frustrating, and I'd rather that not be the case. Huh. No. Is she dreaming of foods? I suppose that's not impossible. All right, then let's just, uh... Oh, it's as initiated its self-destruct sequence. All right, so that's a bit of an issue. And what do you mean you're summoning allies? Oh, that's what they've been doing this whole time. I see, I see. All right, I don't suppose wind is a thing, is it? All right, well, maybe it is. I guess we'll literally never know. Man, that is one creepy persona. All right, so that was a massive waste of my time, my time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I just gone into sleep also, mode. can't escape. She, oh, she's gone into sleep mode. That is adorable. All right, so we're going to get blown up. Yep, this is happening, apparently. All right. If we could just survive one more. Ow, 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 ow. All right. Nobody is dead, which is nice. Okay. Nobody is dead, which is nice. Jesus. All right. So, that's literally never happened. I've fought in those golden hands like seven times. They've never gone away and summoned dice monsters. That's the first time that had ever happened. Okay. Well, if there was ever a good time for this... It's now! There. Okay. Sheesh! Alright, so... Uh, as fun as that was, read not fun at all, uh, what exactly am I supposed to do now? There doesn't appear to be any other way for me to go. Like, at all, in fact. Was one of these things lit and I didn't know it? No. No, oh, it is a bonfire! The holy flame has not been lit. Okay. Yeah, there sure do be that. All right, I've definitely run to a bit of an issue now. Forward, march. I need... To... Ah, okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, well, how about we just don't... What if I just... What if I just don't want to deal with this crap? Is that a viable option? Yeah, all right. I just don't want to deal with the damn golden hands. They are a pain in my ass. Okay, it's not been lit. Okay, but... There has to be, like, a second one, no? Otherwise, like, that don't make no dang sense. The only other bonfire... The only bonfire I've been able to find that has a l actual lit one that I can use... It is a tire lion. That is what it is. But the only one I've been able to find up to this point... I, I can't bring the, the flame close enough. Like, I, I it, it goes out before I get a chance to, to put it anywhere. At least that's what it sure seemed like to me. I guess to make absolutely certain that I'm not wrong, I can go and make sure of it. Don't have any reason to not give it a go, I suppose. It's maybe I just wasn't paying close enough attention. It's it's more than possible. I have been known to occasionally make a big whoopsie poopsies. Let's see. Anything of note around these here? These corners? Doesn't seem so. Very odd, that. Hit him down, hit him now. Naoto's gonna be just fine. She's using Mabudon. I love how much the enemies in this place are instantly killed by that. I'm sure it's going to change soon enough when they, you know, change up the enemies a little bit. But still, until that point, man, that's going to be fun. All right. Over here. Enjoy the advantages we have while we have them. Okay. Man, is it just me? Okay, so I can't even... Hmm. Hey, wait a second, what? How did I... Okay, well, the good news is... I know what I'm supposed to do. The bad news is, I'm very confused as to how I somehow didn't notice this. Like, I am legitimately very, very confused by this, but... Alright, it's fine, it's fine. As long as the solution is easily found and I didn't waste that much time, it's it's not too big a deal. Eh, there you go. I'm much more frustrated by the fact that I'm missing so many of these dang door lines. Alright, now I gotta walk all the way back, which is slightly annoying, but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Alright, go like that. 
Now we're already at a code orange. It's that dang fast. Seems unnecessarily quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will be careful. Do not worry. Do not worry. And then we've got Hulk Hogan. All right. Good for him. Good for him. But I don't want to deal with the Hulk Hogan. I've wasted enough time doing a bunch of nonsense already. So instead of dealing with his nonsense, I'd much rather just actually accomplish my goals. Thank you and good day. Somehow I did not see that. It was right there the whole time and I didn't notice it. All right. Well, light the torch. Yes, I've... Yeah, well, the torch was already lit, but we're gonna light it again, I guess. Eh? This one jumped right away. It didn't move at all until now, right? What's going on here? There should be some kind of logic behind this. Maybe it's Frankenstein logic. Or Frankenstein's monster's logic. Fire bad. Bark, bark, I am a dog, and I have a PhD in fire. Karmaru-san's animal intuition is telling him that it ran away in fear of something. It may be our flame. Perhaps it ran away from the holy flame that we're carrying. Well, there's nothing to be scared of. If we keep moving it out of the way with the torch, this'll be a breeze. We can't carry the torch's flame too far. Right, I forgot about that. Is there a way to carry the flame farther? Let's try to think about that while we give it a try. Well, I happen to actually know that there is a thing we can do. Yeah, you go ahead and do that. I'm going to do this. Ta-da! I see. We're going to use this as a new starting point for carrying the flame. Good call, Kai. Yeah, sometimes I do have some genius thoughts in my, in my big dumb brain. All right, relight the torch. And then we just need to kind of zip zop boobity bop our way around and basically light all of the beacons. All of the beacons need light. Relight the torch. And then we just give it a little bit of this. And, uh, hmm. Seems to me like this might not go so well. I feel like this is going to wear out before I can get over to this. And the answer was yes. All right, well, I certainly did try. Okay, so if that's how that's going to go. Hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Well, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Let me try something before I consider that to be a complete and total lost cause. All right. Oops, didn't mean to have her attack the lion wheel. That's a problem, unless it dies instantly, in which case it's not a problem. And it's not a problem. Delightful. All right. Now we attack the sentient tree. Ain't got no time for trees. Oh, God. It's doing the Morgula. Joke's on you, nerd. I can absorb that noise now. Now, if I could just make it so Kanji could also be able to do that, then we would be really in the money. All right. Well, I ain't got time for your stupid nonsense. So if you could just die yesterday. Thank you. Thank you. Sometimes the trees are actually rather agreeable and kind. You just got to talk to them. All right, so maybe it's because I took two unnecessary steps. If I light the torch from here, maybe it'll last that one turn longer that I need it to. And the answer is yes. All right, so the only thing about that is I'm not entirely sure. Huh. Well, maybe. Let's give it a go. Then the monsters appeared and more lion wheels were also here. All right, all right. It is, but then again, if you can find a single shadow in all of the Persona series that isn't incredibly bizarre, well, then you're going to win yourself a bit of an award because I don't think that it's possible. Some serious studies need to be done here. All right, get more pieces, get more pieces. I feel like this is definitely going to burn and fizzle out before I get a chance. Let's find out. No, it totally worked. The question is, I don't really know why I would need that. Oh, I know why I would need that. To scare away the big dumb nerd! Like... Use this that. Idolon confirmed. Okay, so I guess not like that, because that didn't work. That's very disappointing. <laughs> um... Well, maybe... Maybe the microphone can randomly fall down and smash into my hand, hurting me greatly. That's fun. No, uh, maybe the other side of this thing is what the... Is needed to get that. Seems possible, at least. Shall we go then? Okay, okay, so I've got some of these torches all figured out, which is all well and good and neat and swell and, and what have ye. But will it be enough? I mean, I, I suppose it would kind of have to be. If not, then we're in a bit of trouble. Because <laughs> it's the only possible solution to the, to the problem that I can think of. So if it isn't it, oh, that's not good. I feel like I would have definitely heard at one point or another if this game had some sort of like unwinnable puzzle so that there was actually like nothing more after this it was just designed to end like this that doesn't sound like the type of thing that persona would do at any point regardless regardless 
It may not be a lot of experience points, but it adds up, man. Eventually, it adds up. The thing is, my training sessions are getting diminishing returns. What with the whole... Because whenever I go in here, it takes me like an hour to go up a single level. And that's just not efficient, you know? It's easier to just wait it out. So this is what we're doing, huh? Okay. So what I need to do is grab this fire. All right. I, at least I can already tell exactly what it's, what's being asked of me. All right. We go here. Get attacked by monsters because, of course... Everything has to be, have a little bit of a mild inconvenience. It seems to me like the encounter rate for enemies in this place is astronomically higher than normal. And I gotta say, I gotta say, I don't much appreciate that. At least the mo at least the majority of the monsters go down in basically a single turn, so it's not that big of a problem. But still, it's it's very strange and odd to me, to say the minimum. Patumpa! And then hit him with the chair! There you go. The chair is mightier than the grenade. Everybody knows that. Yeah! All right, now we definitely are holding too many pieces, so that's fun. Let me solve this dang puzzle before I move out to do something else, okay? All right, so we do that. The torch has gone out. Yep, that's fine. We don't got nothing to worry about on that front, because we can just do that. There you go. And then, get the hell out of my way, you big dumb nerd. All right, then go there. Light the thingamadoo. Relight it. R light it again just to be on the safe side, I guess. And like so. Huzzah. Thank goodness for that. We managed to get through this door too. Bark, bark. I'm a dog. It's true. Koromaru is a dog. He says that he is left speechless by your ability to find the shortest distance paths. But he spoke when he said that. An intriguing contradiction. Does Koromaru -kun not like going on long walks then? Bark, bark. I love a good walkies. He says that he only wishes to walk the most efficient routes. So the longer the walk, the more fun it is for him. I see. It'd be more fun to be able to... Oopsie doops, I didn't really see the rest of that. Hey, Karamara-kun, will you go for a walk with me, too? Arf, I am dog, yes. Can I walk you, too? No, I hate you. Why not me? Karamaru, you make no sense. You're friendly with Teddy, of all people, but Kanji is apparently... No, no, sorry, you're a weirdo. Don't like it. That's just weird. Very, very Azamanga Daya of this situation, let me tell you. Sure is. Shame I can't get anything out of it. At least not yet. We'll be able to... Okay, we'll be able to get to that shortcut real soon. Oh, great. It's the Hogan again. All right, well, I've got options. I've got options. Hit him with the Mamoodadoon. The mama -ma 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 doon Then you do your thing, and then we'll do our thing. And that should put us at the very bare minimum, assuming this doesn't kill the Hogan. We'll find out real quick. It did, so never mind. It, it, if it didn't, then we would have all had at least four of those things, and we probably would have gotten an all-out attack, and that would have been more than enough to finish all of our problems. So, you know, there's that. All right, then. I had multitudes of stratagems, all of them perfectly viable, and none of them were able to be used because they just instantly died anyway. Pretty silly, that. Also, hello over there. You seem to be orange. You're probably not going to act the way that you're supposed to do. Oh, look at that FOE. It's a different color from the other one. It seems to have a different movement pattern as well. I believe it will circle one particular area. Please be careful of your surroundings when entering FOE territory. Bark, bark, I am a dog. Karamaru-san says he is a dog. He's confident when it comes to territorial disputes. <sighs> just, just don't start the conflict, okay? But I am dog. It is all I know in this world. There's an FOE here. Yeah, there are many. All right. Wait, what? Hello. Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that this circle was as big as it was. All right, hang on, I'll back it up. Yeah, or it could take some running away. All right, we failed to escape, we're gonna get slapped. All right, well that wasn't too terribly bad. So of course I don't even get to leave. Huh. But just because it's opening move isn't it impressive, doesn't mean it doesn't have an ability or something that's significantly more so. Oh boy, here we go. Wow, that did basically no damage at all. Wha okay, game, you've made your point. I'm sorry for making a stupid error, okay? You can let me leave now. Thank you. Jeez. Okay, hang on, let's just... Ah, okay, all right. So you don't go there. Interesting. What? No, what? That's a lie! It's dangerous. That, that doesn't make any sense to me. Oh! All right, cool. Of course you have that particular ability and use it on that particular character. Why wouldn't you? 
Okay, is it just... I'm not crazy, right? It didn't go the full circle last time. Why is it doing that now? That's very weird. All right, cool, cool. Yeah, failed to escape and all that business. But what if I didn't fail to escape and you just let me leave and make me actually let me do my thing? Let me actually accomplish my goals. Oh, well, that's just weird. Hang on. It, like, switched sides. It went around the other direction, and it, it's... Okay. Whatever. I, I I just... I did something incorrectly. That That's just basically the entire long and short of it. So, whatever. Fine. We'll, we'll accept that, and we'll move on. I'm also gonna have to come back and get that whole situated. All right. Once I have more room in my inventory, obviously. Let's see. That way can go. But this way is my favorite way. Because it is instantaneous leaving. Just add water. And I've got too much cramp in my pants and I gotta sell it off, yo. So let's go do that. Alright, to the workshop. I have many much things to give. I don't even have to I didn't even need to use a go home. So I don't even gotta buy another one. Shaboomba. There you go. Pretty sure I've gotten every item that can be gotten from the items that can be fought at this exact moment in time. So... Nothing new, unfortunately, but there you go. At least I can collect more stuff. No, I don't want to change my party members. You're a fool for asking. My goodness. All right, well, at least I can use the power spot and treasure chests now. I'm sure there's got to be something relatively useful in all that. All right, through the pinwheels! Okay. You just keep on doing whatever it is you're doing. We'll open this up, and what do we get? An electric rod. All right, then. Well, good news. You're probably also going to get one attack. Because that's all these items end up ever being. It's weird gimmick stuff. Useful in certain instances, but not a lot. Anyway, away with you. All right, that takes care of that. And because I can, and I'm going to, we're going to head to that power spot real quick. Give me the thing. Argawood, Argawood, Argawood. Dang, I was hoping it was going to be something different. It was not. It was just a never-ending supply of Argawood. Yep, they do that sometimes. All right. Just gonna... All right, well, we're gonna get attacked, and that's okay-ish. Oh, wow! Slight variation! All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. And again, you're weak to electric, but I don't have that av option available to me. I never do. All right, then. Uh, well, neither do you anymore. Okay, hang on. We might take out one of them, which would be nice. Let's see what happens! How many are going down? One, two, or three? The answer was two! Alright, that's not so bad. We'll just use our usual styles, no problem. Mabufula! Why must you be this way with the Mabufu? I don't understand. And I thought I thought I. Oh, dang it, now I'm. The Mafuba! There we go, I was trying to remember the, the, the technique in Dragon Ball that sealed people in jars. It's the Mabufuba! There you go. I remember. I know a thing or three. All right. Well, now that I've covered all that ground, playing ring around the rosy with these nerds. Also, I see that off in the distance. I also see whatever this thing is, that weird orb. Still not sure about that business. All right. Try to cover all the ground that the FOE does. That way I never have to think about this section ever again. It's a very, very good idea, in my personal opinion. All right, what do we got? What do we got? We've got your typical standard, run-of-the-mill, everyday, nothing special box area. Those are always fun for everybody. Except when they aren't, which is often. All right, hang on here. I also saw another shortcut. All right, we've got more opulent hands. Okay. This is probably a bad idea, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Lower physical attack? No. Lower their hit and evasion. That's what we want. We need to get rid of them before they summon the weird dice monsters. Failing that, we then need to destroy the dice monsters before they can actually do anything. That would explain why their entire... That explains why they use mobility stuff and uh, sleep to prevent you from being able to run away when they summon their dudes to come in and blow up. That makes sense. Okay, I get you. Well, it's a good thing that's not the goal. All right, here's open that maybe, just maybe, just, just, just maybe, maybe, we could take out one of them. All right. Okay. Dang it. 
Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Of course we can't. Cool! Cool! I even got extra attacks and it didn't work. That's... That's fun and delightful. Alright. I mean, that is accurate. Alright. Lullaby song, or how about no? Alright, cool. Three of our characters have gone to sleep. Alright, so this went absolutely horribly. Alright, well, I'm gonna try to... I'm gonna try to leave now. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna have you... Yukari's literally the only one of the team who's able to give it a old college try. So, we're gonna hope for it. Maybe. Yukari. And it worked. Okay, cool. That was a waste of time. But what else is new for these dang monsters? That's what they always are. Massive waste of time. They make you think that, hey, maybe something good will happen. But then they don't. Then they don't. Interesting. We found another power spot already. Ain't, won't be, ain't gonna be seeing any complaints from me, though. Here you go. Ah, sandalwood! That's a fancy kind of wood. Or, I assume. I don't actually know. So, you know. Look, I'm, I'm doing my best here, alright? There's something that's bothering me about that area. What exactly is it, other than it being a dead end? Alright, hello. Pant, pant, pant! I am Doggo, and I am tired. Koromaru seems happy for some reason. Oh, I am detecting a high number of alpha brain waves from Koromaru-san. Um, when your brain gives off alpha remember. waves, does that mean you're relaxed? Maybe he feels at home because he grew up at a shrine. Arf, arf, I am a dog at a shrine. Yes, hello. Uh, Leader, you don't have to do this if you think you don't have time for it, but could you take Korachan for a walk, if possible, in this part of the labyrinth? I'm sorry, Yamagishi, but it's out of the question whether or not he feels at home. This is a shadow nesting ground. Uh, of course, so I'm sorry. But I am Doggo. Karamaru stares into Mitru's eyes with a dose, dose of weapons great adorableness. Yeah. Yeah. I am Doggo, and you will bend to my will. Fine, I'll make an exception just this once. Really? However, but we'll go into the labyrinth together like we always do. Do you understand? Thank you very much. There All right. There. Hear that, Korochan? I am a happy doggo. Huh. That's pretty rare. Expect never, ex that. never expected you to give in like that. <sighs> Could you have said no? Nope. Nobody can resist when he looks at you with his eyes set to maximum cute. I could easily. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Thanks. I'll put in an official request for this. You can do it whenever you think you have the time. Very well. Walkie times for the doggo. Doggo Jones needs the walkies. Oh. All right, now we've got this whole situation. That looks to be three squares ahead, which means we can do ourselves a little bit of this. That wall's bugging me. Yeah, well, the wall bugs a lot of people. That's why we jump through it. Boom shakalaka. All right, and we've got more of this business going on now. That's delightful. All right, hang on. Putting the door in. There you go. It's another sealed door. Oh, that door leads to the area you saw with the stairs when you first arrived here. So I guess once we open this door, we'll be done with the floor. <sighs> Hasn't this labyrinth gotten complicated all of a sudden? It seems to be both much larger and more complex than the previous labyrinths. I really don't want to open this door. <laughs> Since you feel that way, Yuka-chan, I have some good news for you. Good news? You can still open the door to my heart. Come rushing to my heart, Yuka-chan. Sorry, but I'd choose this door over yours. Why do you keep trying knowing that you're destined for failure? Making no sense to me. Also, monsters, apparently. All right, cool. There are three enemies. The threat level is low. Let's get fired up. And by fired up, I mean submit to the darkness, as that is what we're about to do to attack Hulk Hogan, as one is known to do, unless he dies to the shadows. And he did. Down goes to Hogan. And... Just ever so slight little little boosties. All right, so I might have taken it that there is no thing there. There is not. So I'll put that there for now. And we're going to go. Okay, we, right. I just realized we can't go through that door. That was the whole problem in the first place. All right, hang on just a moment. Got to make sure I get all of these lines correct. If I get any of them wrong, I will not forgive myself. And then a big pile of nothing. That's interesting. This seems to be a dead end. Not getting any shadow readings there. Hmm. Let's take a break here then. Yamagishi, Kuchigawa, you can turn the comms off as well. Get some rest. Th and we'll take you up on that offer. We'll cut the comms for now. You'll be taking a break. Monsters attacked. That labyrinth seemed very hot. Just watching them made me feel like breaking into a sweat. Hmm. That heat seems tough, but I envy them a little. I could do with some sauna time after all. Huh? Isn't that Fuka and Risa... Risa Chi? What? 
You think maybe they forgot to turn their stuff off? Woo! We're listening in on a real girl talk. It's a situation that all guys dream of. Really? I can't say that I've done that. Uh, you don't need to lose any weight. You look great, you know. Uh, come on, that's not true. You look great too, Fuka-chan. Huh? Well, you can't say that. Having a teen idol will say something like that just sounds like you're trying to be nice. It's the classic scene. Two girls trying to out-compliment each other. I'm not joking. Look how thin you are. Oh, I guess except for here. Don't grab me there. Okay, wow, really? I have to feel like they didn't turn the comms off and are pretending. Oh, you're surprisingly soft. Excuse me? What are you two even? What the? What is going on over there? You gonna take her arm? You're gonna tear my cheeks. Let's go. Cheeks? What? What did you think she was going to say? Huh? I don't even know if I'm being honest with you. We really don't want to go near some perverted guy in a costume. My identity is being trampled on. Because you can hear the navigator's conversation, this break wasn't as relaxing as it should have been. You should carry on. All right, that was a thing that happened. Fascinating. Action pose! All right. Well, we got this going for us, which is neat. We've also got, oh boy, that's a bunch of shortcuts, okay. They're so close together and they point in such an odd direction though. I get the feeling that they're not really meant to be shortcuts. More so just weird things for the sake of weird. Right, hang on. Oh, and we've also got you. That's not where I wanted that, thank you. All right. Let me do a little bit of this. Make sure to give him a little bit of that. And yeah, all right. That's just a, a straight path right out the gate. There you go. You go right on ahead doing that. Oh, God, hi. All right. I will be careful. A uh, mild issue, however. There appears to be nothing that I can do. So maybe I need to move. On Hang on. Let me do that. And then do that. And now I might have the ability. Okay. Nope. I'm detecting signals from an FOE. Okay, so that's a resounding nope, Slovakia. Uh, interesting, interesting. What am I missing here? It only seems to just kind of go back and forth where it, where it is, like those same three spots over and over. Yeah, that's all it does. Not really anything I can do to time myself with that one, really. And no matter what I do, I'll always be there at the time when it ends up in the middle. Interesting. Uh, well, maybe I can make a fire happen. Maybe a fire would spook them or something. It's just not impossible. Or maybe there's something over here and I just completely neglected to go in this direction the first time. A single one? Alright, I suppose it's not outside the realm of human feasibility. Well, that was miraculous. Alright. Of course, that's still a bunch of misses, and another miss, and another miss. All right, that one was a hit, but that, okay, that one was too. That one wasn't, though. That's just your common, you know, commonplace greed. You thought, oh, I could hit you twice, so I'll hit you twice, and then you didn't hit him twice. All right, now we just need to hit it two more times before it decides to do something diabolical. One more time, and we beat it! Awesome! All right. And uh, apparently a persona. Interesting. All right, what exactly? Oh, it's Pyro Jack. Nice to see you, Pyro Jack. How was that? Not bad. But you'll see, like, even defeating those things doesn't give you nearly as much gains as you would honestly hope and expect and want. But still, it's always a better than nothing. All right, now we've got all this going on. Oh, boy. This doesn't look like it's going to solve many of my problems at all, if I'm being honest with you. But we'll dare to dream. All right, it do be wandering about. All right. There's an FOE here. Let's be careful. Doesn't seem like it's doing anything too overly complicated. Oh, a treasure box. What should we do? Probably try to get over there and open it. We'll see what it happens. You never know. That said, I will preemptively put the stuff there. Okay. For a second there, I thought I bumped into the FOE, and I was gonna I was about to call bull plop on that situation. Commencing annihilation. Continue to do the annihilation sta the annihilation station. There you go. Have that be a thing that I guess can do. That sounds pretty awesome. Yo! We didn't have to put any effort into that whatsoever. Always a good day when I ain't gotta do stuff. 
All right, we got Floros, and Floros says, Brah, there's too many toads here. What are you going to do about it? And then I say I'm going to get rid of Kakuri Hime. Is what I'm going to do. There you go. Disappointingly fast. And now the navigators are level 50. Healing Tide! What's Healing Tide? Moderate HP restore at end of the turn for three turns. Oh, it's like Healing Breeze, but it's better. That makes sense. That makes sense. Alrighty then. So, that's nice at least. I wasn't expecting there to be a door. That's handy dandy. Alright, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me activate the shortcut first. All the walls look suspicious. It's what they do. All right, what do we got? What do we got? We've got a straightway path, and we got that other turn. We will, we will make use of it. Do not, do not worry none about any of that. Also, we've got whatever this is. This could either end well or incredibly poorly. We'll find out in due time. All right, yet another door. Good lord. It feels like I've I've gone like a million miles, but at the same time, I bet if you actually look, hang on. That's interesting. Only 54%? Does, sure looks like I've covered more than 50%. All right. The game would know better than I. That much is for certain. Uh, I can't really tell. Ah, okay. So no. I thought maybe that that's what that was. It was not. We can do that instead. Except... No, that won't do, so... Eh, like... Eh, there we go. Okay, so it's like... It's like that. Come on, draw the lines properly. Draw the lines properly! Damn, son! Ain't that freaking hard. Come on, now. All right. Damn. There's an FOE here. When is there not an FOE here, Kanji? Let's be real, okay? Okay. Go to that line and that line, because I'm getting sloppy up in here. All right, there is ever so slightly just enough wiggle room to get in here. We'll see what happens. Looks like it's just a big roundabout. Nothing of actual value was gained. Ain't that a bummer. All right. And it doesn't look like... Yeah, there's no way to get over from that side, unfortunately. We're gonna have to find another way. Perhaps it is this way. Something tells me that it is not this way, but here we are anyway. It appears to be a dead end. Arf, arf, I am dog. Man, this is just Koromaru's time to shine. Koromaru's looking mad happy. What's up, Korachan? You like this spot? Arf, yes, I am dog and like to sit. Might be useful to remember these places when we go for a walk. Maybe you should mark them on your map. Oh. Okay, sure, I guess. Hang on. I will mark them with green. There you go. Then again, I don't remember where that place started, so I don't know what to do about that one specifically. Ah, well, it'd be what it'd be. Try coming back here after accepting the request. Will do, will do. Oh, I could definitely find a more noteworthy color than that. Hang on. There we go. That's much more obvious. I need to make it as simple as my dumb brain can possibly manage. Look at the wall up ahead. Don't you think it looks kind of strange? Yes, indeed I do. How strange, how strange. How could we ever? How could we ever? All right, well. Uh, don't think that this will work, but I got nothing to lose. So we'll give it a try. There were three enemies. Makes about as much sense as any dang thing. Yep, they most assuredly are. The only question is, how long will it take for them to go down? That's the million dollar question. And yes, I did bring that back. I can say it every now and then. Okay, well, as it turns out, it was really, 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 really freaking fast. I don't know why you are always so disappointed by enemies going down so quickly. It's a good thing. The less, the less effort we have to expend, the less, you know, the more we have for later situations. Hey, it just barely worked. All right, then. And then the monsters, again with you! All right, fine. Lower the rates, and just attack them normally, I guess. That's all we can really do. Lullaby song! All right, the one guy was trying to get you to get to lower your stats, and, and that ended up happening. Then again, I guess we did just land three hits without any issue for some reason. That's a little odd. All right, well. Come on, come on, come on. I'll show you what a man I am. Come on. Hey, hit him again. But not that time. Okay, all right. If we could maybe... If we could maybe just hit them one more time. Just one more time. Be cool. All right, they've decided to... And apparently, they've decided to abide by a, a life choice of not being cool. 
personally not what I would have done, but, you know, it is what it is, I guess. I do not appreciate just how much these things are able to dodge. How much health did I take away from it? A decent amount. We should be able to just get rid of it this turn. If everybody actually lands their hits. That's the real question, though. So far, so far. And that's not good. And, uh... Oh, just barely. Just barely. Do we get a special item for defeating the dice instead? Yes, yes, we do. All right, well, take what you can get. All right, we've got lots of fire. Fire is good. Then, oh, now what? Everyone, you've got... Careful, you've got to be. Fukuchan, calm down. You're mixing your words up. Uh, sure. So what's up? Why are you all flustered? A nearby red OFOE is coming after you. It seems to be attracted to the Holy Flame. What? Serious law? So the red one's after us. What a pain. Uh -huh. You'll have to carry the torch pretty far to get to the door. Make sure you don't encounter the FOE that's chasing you. And, and, and please just don't. Be careful. <laughs> I said it right that time. Yeah, you did. Uh... You don't have to be so proud of it. Don't be so rude to her, you jerkwad. Gah. All right, well, we've got that going for us now, which is pretty swell. Uh, but what exactly am I supposed to do with... Oh. Any of this, I wonder. Hmm. Okay, I definitely have got those activated, which is real, real neat and all, but... Hmm. Alright, hang on. I somehow feel like this will not work. Oh, okay, you're... I, th I thought going through the door would make it so you would... <laughs> Interesting. I thought it because I didn't have the... the <laughs> I didn't have the fire at all that I assumed you would just reset yourself entirely. How peculiar that is. All right, well, I'm gonna go through here, I guess. And then I guess I'm gonna try to go through here, see what happens. Okay. Well, I have absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> That's not good. Let's see, what is my current objective anyway? I suppose it would be getting the fire there so I can then again, isn't that just a red one? Wouldn't it just chase me afterwards? Hmm. Ain't that a bit of an issue. Okay. What is it that I am expected to be accomplishing right now, game? I ain't being too unreasonable, I feel. Alright, so we've got FOEs. Hmm. What I find interesting is the fact that apparently it's only attracted to the holy flame when it's on a torch. Apparently if it's not in a torch, it doesn't have any issues. That's a little peculiar. All right, cool, cool, cool. Kanji got knocked over. Can't do nothing. Not annoying at all. Definitely not. Can't prove that it is. Definitely. All right. Uh, just use your Mamudon again, I suppose. It's for free and it might kill them. So it's worth a shot. Otherwise, physical attacks will, finish, will pick things up afterwards. Just like this, I might add. There you go. Strategy is flawless. Flawless tactics. I'll do what I want when I want, lady. All right, all right. So, well, one thing's for sure. The torch that I lit is definitely not going to get anywhere close to over there. So what the hell am I even trying to get myself involved with here? It has definitely become a bit complicated. Yeah, I can't get the fire here. So what exactly is it trying to get me to do? Huh. If there were multiple ways to get to that spot, then I could lure the FOE out of, like... Like, if I could get the FOE out of its pattern and into, like, that lower corridor, then I could, you know, go around it, but... That doesn't... Hmm. Well, it's pretty much the only idea I have. So, let's test it out and see what happens, you know? I can't say that it's a bad idea until it's actually failed. Alright, so, if I were to, say, do this, make that be a thing, and then I go that way, and then you get all the way... Okay, yeah, this looks to be the case. All right, yep. You just get as close as you want, and it frees this up. There you go. All right. I actually did manage to make this work. 
Not bad, me. Not bad, me for once. I have no idea if I'm going to need the fire, but I'm going to grab the fire. And I go. All right, at least I was able to figure that one out. Not so bad, not so bad. Shall we go to it? Obviously. Give me a moment, Madeira. All right. And just a little bit of that and a little bit of this. And there you go. And that's just a big that. There you go. All right. Well, I might need the fire at some point, but I... I went the way that's definitely not going to allow that to be possible, so it is what it is. There you go, and more doors! And more Hogans! Yeah, more Hogans than you really could ever possibly want in your life, I'll tell you that much. Alright, hit him with the Repu Strike! Unless, you know, the Mama Doom do its thing. It might, it might. Otherwise, we'll have to resort to wind-based technology to defeat the professional wrestler. All right. It ain't weak to it, but it sure does have a very strong likelihood of being able to get taken out by it. It's very strange, that. I can only assume I'm just rolling the dice numbers, pro you know, miraculously very well. Also, oopsie doodles. Put the door too close to me. There you go. In we go. All right. Doesn't that look kind of fishy to you? I don't know if it looks fishy, but it does look like a wall. So let's see what that's all about. There's a large lantern with the word festival written on it in Japanese. Hey, doesn't this labyrinth remind you of summer festivals? Yes, Yukiko. Oh yeah, it does. We all wore yukatas, right? Such pleasant memories. It was pretty lame for most of us. Did something happen, Yosuke? If you don't mind telling me, I'm only the an ear. You don't remember? It was all your fault! I don't know what you're talking about, but we had a summer festival in our hometown too. Though we didn't go all together or anything, because we're not actually friends, you see. Sensei especially loves festivals. You went to the festival again the day after we all went together, right? Whoa, seriously partner with who? Uh, well, I mean, Naoto wasn't an option at the time, so it was literally nothing, so I don't know why. If you don't have anybody, then, then you don't, so just leave me be. It's none of your business, okay? Uh, that's all you needed to say. Uh, don't let it get to you. Why don't you all go together next year? Everyone who's here now. Oh, invite us when you do! Of course. All right, well, that's nice at least. You can't bring Naoto to the festival, which is all sorts of tragic. All right, you think you could... Hmm. I have no idea if this is actually going to work, but I got to try it at least once and see it fail before I can completely dismiss it. All right. Yep, I've got the flame of justice. It's all holy and whatnot, and then I'm going to go over there. Well, this looks like it might actually work. There you go, and... Oh, sha 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 Nice, very nice. All right, and light the torch again. And then the monsters arrive to mess up my day. All right, well, I guess they're gonna wait for me to go through the door. How courteous of them. Mm, hello, hello. Oh, I think the FOEs noticed us. Yeah, they do that sometimes. Don't worry about it. All right, well, what I need to do is most assuredly, uh, is, yeah, I gotta light that. There we go. That's what we need. But let's not light it any further than that. Instead, do that. Get everything all figured out. Then we back it up. When we draw the extra lines there, we back it up. We back it up. The fire is not going out. When you actually want the fire to go out. Oh, well, then that's the one time it chooses to never do so. Indeed. All right. What's happening? What's happening? Bunch of dudes sitting on bridges. Your order, senpai? Annihilate the old dude sitting on bridges! I believe that kind of went without saying now, though. We've been in here long enough, and we've fought in these particular arrangements of dudes long enough that I feel like we should all just inherently know what the strategy is at this point. Try to instant kill, and anything that doesn't get instant kills gets absolutely bludgeoned. And sometimes we get ice cubes thrown in our face. I, I'm never a fan of that part, because they, they, they are hard, and they hurt, and they go, ow. I like eating ice cubes, though. That's fun. All right, that takes care of that. Yeah, but I don't judge you, do I, Rise? Huh? All those times I could have judged you and I didn't? Hmm? You remember any of those? You might want to remember those, because that's what's, because that would have been much cooler of you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anyway, that one is green. Is that the one? I guess those are the stationary ones that are afraid of fire. I mean, I guess I just don't remember too well. That's always a very real possibility. Gotten used to the ones that chase me, the orange ones. 
Didn't want to draw that line. That's a false line. What's happening? Oh, that's oh, that's why. Didn't even notice. There you go. All right. Let me just do. Oh God. Um. Nah. I do not know how far you will take that business. I ain't having none of that. Let's see. We've got yet another door. And leads to a shortcut. So, no complaints there. Hang on. Eh, no, hang on. There you go. All right. What do we got? What do we got? Uh, more torches. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, nope. Not wrong one. Wrong one. And uh, do you think I can get to that one and bring it up here? It's worth a shot. Gotta give it, gotta give it, gotta give it a go, yo. Let us investigate the area. We will once we can. And I'm trying to erase lines, not draw them. Jesus. There. Okay. I'll just head over yonder. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There go. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. And a little bit of this, that. And a little bit of that, this. Erase it, because I keep accidentally making more lines than is needed by anybody for any reason. My goodness. Is this just me, or does this floor have a lot of power spots? Anyway, give me the sandalwood. I now have the sandalwood. I feel much better about my state of being. So they're actually referred to as wrestler shadows. I find that incredibly interesting, actually. All right, then. Well, hit him with the Mamudun. Let's see what happens. Ba bow ba bow ba bow. All right, it's just the Hogan that stands alone now. All right, to get annihilated. That ain't even the right spell. Why did I use that one? That was, I have failed you. I have failed you all. Oh boy. All right, well that's fun. And by fun I mean opposite of that. Hit him with a rapu strike. There you go. That's some decent damage. Not bad. Not bad. All right, I will now actually use the correct spell. That's going to be our, our primary goal. Uh, now Toe can't really do much of anything right now because she lost her free action, which is a bummer. But heavy wind attacks. Get knocked on your ass, nerd. He did not get knocked on his ass, and he does not take kindly to being called a nerd. Unfortunate. All right, well, how do you feel about bullets? Neutral. All right, well, what about I throw even more wind at ya? All right, he still did not fall down. Well, all right, well, luckily... Luckily, I guess just does not take damage. She is so dang durable to physical attacks. It seems a little overkill if I'm being honest, so obviously, yes, I would very much like to do that. Well and truly annihilated. Good, 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 good times. Spinneroo, Spinneroo, what persona is it this day? Hey, it's you. I already got rid of you, so I'm not going to get you back. We're already almost about to level up again. Like I said, people. The experience adds up over time. All right. Huh? You see something up ahead? No, I do not. Not even remotely. But you seem to, and that's good enough for me, my dude. So just let me go ahead and do this real quick. And all right, what's this all about? This appears to be a dead end. Arf arf, I am Doggo Jones. He looks happy, which means I guess I got to do that. All right. You like this spot? Arf arf, yes. All right, then. Noted. I guess that is a thing. Are you a special thing? No, you're not. It really is just a dead end. How lame. Okay. Huh. Oh, no, no, no. I don't like those odds nearly enough. We ain't bothering with that. Oh, no. Okay, well, I would I would, I would, appreciate it if you didn't. Oh, boy. Yukari. All right. Well, so much for that. Well, this is... All kinds of incredibly bad. Huh. Okay. All right. Indeed he has. Yeah, okay. Well, how about I do this? Come on. Come on. What? Oh, I actually have to do the rest of the thing. Right. Sorry. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, escape. Whatever. We're, whatever comes first. Just get me out of here. All right. I don't really want to be at the beginning of the floor, but it's fine. It's not too terribly long. I guess I kind of... It would have been nice if I could have activated that shortcut before I did. Ugh, I am bad at my job. Well, okay, but why, though? Yep, working on that. 
Yep, sure is. Luckily, it did the stupidest thing it could have possibly done, so that's not nearly as big of a problem. All right, and then we tried to leave. Could have sworn I had the timing right, but I clearly didn't. And then you attacked someone else who can absorb stuff. At least you're actually trying to attack people with their weaknesses. That is a good strategy. You would have no way of knowing that we found a way to completely negate our biggest weaknesses. Of course, that's a whole different problem. Ah, delightful. Literally only Yukari is awake. Welcome to the Waste of Time Junction. Wasting all your time. Wasting all your time. Wasting all your time, desperately waiting for an opportunity to get the hell out of this hellhole. Don't want to be here. Hellhole, 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 hellhole. Let me leave. Let me leave. Let me leave. Hitting the button really hard. Let me leave. Let me leave. I want to leave now. Point has been most assuredly made. I made an uh-oh oopsie spaghettios. Thank you. Don't know why I had to spend three and a half hours waiting for me to have the privilege of being able to get the hell out of there, but it is what it is, I guess. All right, so that's slightly annoying. I'm gonna have to do this crap again. All right. All right. The after it's gonna do that. All right, come on, get over here. Get over here. And yep, it does that sometimes. Like the chasing us. Yeah, sometimes we do and like that. Yes. All right. Take care of that. Come on. Let's go. <sighs> if only I was able to activate that one shortcut before everything went completely belly up. It's an enemy FOE. Well, at least I didn't end up having to get like uh. It, it could have gone significantly worse ultimately had I had I had everyone hmm, had everyone stuck around and gotten killed. Uh, yeah, no. I, I I don't feel too terribly broken up about it. Interesting. You'll definitely go further along than I would have thought you would have. It's all good. All right, now let's activate the shortcut. Hop on through. Yep, hop on through. There you go. This is definitely not the case. Also, great, I forgot. That's not actually even one of the things. So I've ultimately made absolutely no progress whatsoever. And I am once again at a bit of a stalemate as to what the heck and heck I'm supposed to do. All right, let's try to look around for any possible options here. Impossible. Huh. Well, the main problem I'm personally seeing here is the fact that I don't think that I could get a torch to this area at all in time. That's a bit of a problem. Hmm. Actually, Kanji gets it. He knows what's up. All right, also I've run out of space, which is an issue. All right, then I can only think of one possible thing. And I do not know if it is a good idea. I really, truly do not.